Hi folks. You know, I got to thinking about the last video I made with the uh, tragic ending of the love boat and how all those other ships started off world wars. And then I started thinking about sports. Sports got into my mind for some reason. So I started thinking sports, war, countries, teams. And then it occurred to me, it just, you know, it just dawned on me how everyone who likes football has a particular team. It's not even really about the game. It's about liking that particular team. But everything's owned by the NFL. You know what I'm saying? So the NFL, they provide all the uniforms and all the helmets and all the equipment and the stadiums. You know, I guess uh, a lot of stadiums are owned by corporations and financial institutions. And they're funded, it's all funded with a lot of money, big money behind sports. Just like in war. You have uh, all these different countries, and they're supported financially to be able to afford to uh, compete in the war. Um, and there's all this talk about, you know, world government and things of that nature. So I was thinking, like, you know, maybe it's think of wars like teams I, I see wars I can see wars now as teams from what I've what, a, what have I what I, I have observed how you know just like a football team is uh, there's every state has its own team some states have more than one and everyone who likes that team hates the other team and the fans of that team, kind of like in a war, where you know you have an enemy. So I was thinking about the parallel, how sports could be like teams. You know, you have like, there's Germany and England and America, and France, and they wear their uniforms and they compete. So I just had that thought in my head for a second. Just uh, giving things a different perspective. Anyway, of course, I want you to think about that. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Talk to you soon.